Welcome back, YouTube Pipe Smokers, to this Virgin Piper. This is Wilson with you. So today, I don't have a full review. Uh, this is a blend I wanted to get to. I don't have enough to give a full, deep review on, but this is a first impression, if you will, though I've smoked. This is going to be my, my third bowl at the moment here in my Celtic Rat Rays, and that is McBaron Stockton. Now, McBaron Stockton, they, they re-released it, I suppose you would say, uh, here in, in the recent history you know in the past six months or so i knew it was coming out i got all the emails i had enough blends i had enough tobacco so i just ignored it but more and more folks started posting about it and um i there's a lot of hoopla over it and, and i was really interested well one of the viewers of the channel wisconsin woodsman sent me some just recently he emailed me and just asked if i wanted to try it and i definitely did so he sent me some um, i have it here so it's, it's, it's enough for a decent uh, first impression, uh, third impression, what have you, video. So I, I want to get into it. Now, I'll give you some background on the blend. And it is put out by McBaron. And here's the tobacco review, uh, reviews.com description. It said it's a spun tobacco cut in small bird size eyes, a very special mild and cool smoke. Cavendish and dark fired Kentucky. This blend has a mellow sweetness with spicy, smoky, undertones um so let me give you a look at it because it's a really un unique i would say looking blend as you can see it is spun cut uh, you, you'd almost want to call it a coin cut um i guess you it, it would be a curly uh, but you can see the distinctions of the at the top of leaves the the virginia darker dark darker cavendish and um, the kentucky going on in there so it's it's really appealing just just in the look and i know we don't smoke blends for for the look of them but it's it's an interesting looking blend um it is virginia based uh it comes in 100 gram tins and here's something you understand or or know it's it's technically currently available but it's not currently available so i've looked for it you it's kind of out of stock it's been popular for good reasons um and and so, and so bear that in mind if you're going to go off of this video and go look for it maybe you know where you can find some awesome for you most of the big sites smoking pipes pipes and tobacco uh, or pipes tobacco tobacco pipes excuse me pipes and cigars last time i checked they're out of it but uh but just keep your eye open i'm sure they'll come back in stock in a short period of time currently it has 50 reviews at a 3.0 rating and uh, flavorings extremely mild, strengths medium, taste mild to medium. Room note is pleasant. So I've smoked some of this. I want to get into it a little bit more. Um, again, I, I can't give like a full concrete review, but I'm going to let you know my immediate thoughts on it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with this video. Um, most of the notes I already have down, and, and so. Uh, it's going to be a little bit shorter. So, so let me let me put something right up front um, because this is good news for those of you who want to smoke inside. Uh, maybe you, you live with a spouse, uh, loved ones, what have you. The room note was pleasant on TobaccoReviews.com, and that is very true. Um, this is a really good thing. So the room note, and and I have my actually my wife made the comment about this as well, is is quite pleasant, and it smells like a mix of campfire and and s'mores. So campfire is expected. Kentucky blends or Kentucky leaf has that characteristic. It's going to be put out that aroma, uh, but it does have a sweetness with that. So it kind of gives you all gives off a, a s'mores aroma. It's really nice. I enjoy that about it. So that's that's an instant mark for it. Um, you you. You taste just everything about it, really. I guess you would say that's that's not real clear, but the Virginias, they're they're tangy, tarty, um, very sweet. They they I guess they would they would have the they give the foundation of the blend, um, so they're very evident um, and very woody, and that's being accentuated by the Kentucky. With the Kentucky's great, um, it tastes like Kentucky taste with that woody, earthy notes, campfire. Uh, it's it's it, it's a great blend. It's not strong. So if you're someone who's weak um, or, or nicotine is you're very sensitive to it, and I'm like that, uh, you don't really have to worry about this blend. I, I can smoke a pretty good sized bowl of it, like uh, like a bowl like this Celtic 
rat race here and I have no issues. So so bear that in mind. It's it's not an overly stout blend and I think the Cavendish comes in and helps with that. And so the Cavendish is it offers a little bit more of a like a brown sugary addition and I think that helps with like the s'more sweetness, campfirey both smell and even taste. So I I kind of pick that up in myself. Um and maybe the smells is is affecting my taste, which that happens. And so I do pick up like a s'moreish taste to it, um, but it's still savory, smoky, or a, a, a savory sweet balance going on right there that I really like. Um, the the tin notes and the the blend has a barbecue flavor. Again, that's coming a lot from that Kentucky, and 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 I enjoy that. So you're you're getting this sweet smoky barbecue. If that's your your liking, that's kind of going on in the blend as well. Uh, so I'm gonna end it right there and just say I'm kind of glad this blend wasn't available right now because I probably buy some and I don't really need to be spending money on tobacco. So there's my recommendation. Um, it's a wonderful blend. Uh, I'm gonna keep my eye open. Eventually, I'd like to pick some up and, and put away because it's 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 great stuff. It's great stuff. So uh, that that is McBaron's Stockton. Um, if you have it, congrats for you. I'm a little jealous. If you don't have it, keep your eye open. I do recommend it. Uh, and uh, I, I'm sure it's going to come available at some point. I know Texas Piper, he mentioned that uh, Smoking Pipes had some available. And I, this was like a week ago or, or earlier this week. Um, I don't even know if it was even broadcasted on their website. But they did have some and they already sold out again. So it's hard to get a hold of at the moment. I guess it's because it's popular or maybe they didn't produce a lot. I don't know the reason, but there you are. Um, I do recommend it. Check it out if you can and enjoy it. So until then, guys, next Tuesday I should be back in um, and be able to get a video done. And so we, I hope you have a good weekend and we'll talk to you then.